Hi, I'm Megan Gonzalez and I'm the Public Relations Director for the University of West Florida. Um, a little bit about the, my typical day. The first rule of thumb is that there is no typical day in the public relations industry. Um, everything is constantly moving and flowing throughout the day, so every day is different, but typically we deal with the media on a consistent basis. Um, we receive questions from the media, we're pitching stories to the media, ideas for um, representatives of the media. We also handle a lot of planning, so that is a big part of my job and being proactive with uh, providing information and news to media outlets. So, for example, some of the projects that we work on include university-wide initiatives, such as homecoming, for example. Um, our goal is to promote all of the events that take place during homecoming and make sure that not only the campus community is aware of what's taking place, but also our alumni and the general public within our community. Um, that's just one example. Another example would be we have uh, quarterly meetings with our Board of Trustees and preparing for those meetings and having talking points for specific um, topics that are mentioned in those meetings and things like that. Uh, we do deal on a proactive basis with a lot of different types of stories that could potentially happen. We handle stories anywhere from um, about a specific department within a college or, or school to university-wide initiatives, as, as I mentioned before. In addition, we handle in crisis communications for the university as far as um, speaking with the university in the event of an emergency, our campus, staff, students, faculty, um, and also external audiences. Uh, since my job is almost nonstop, it is a high stress level. However, it is really fun and we get the opportunity to work with different people every day on campus and uh, I'm constantly learning, so that is the best part of uh, my job. The requirements for a position in public relations vary, but you will find that in as far as academic requirements and degrees, uh, typically public relations practitioners have a degree in communication arts, marketing, or public relations focused. Um, a bachelor's degree is great and a, a master's is also very much um, a, a good factor to have as well if that's something that you're striving for. Um, additionally, there is a book called the Associated Press Style Book. That is something that PR practitioners use on a daily basis as far as the writing style. So it would be a requirement um, to know that book. You will learn some of that throughout your coursework in school, but um, you know, actually studying that book and learning the style yourself would be a benefit. You can also learn this through an internship if you choose to um, have an internship. Um, that's also another, it's not necessarily a requirement, but it is something that would benefit you greatly. Additionally, if you're interested in public relations, um, you would have certain types of skill sets that would be required. One of them is specifically writing. Writing is a key aspect of my job. Um, I do it on a daily basis, writing press releases, writing frequently asked questions, talking points, anything that can help tell the university's story. Another aspect um, that you would be interested in would be public speaking as well as very close attention to detail and organizational skills. Those are just some of the skills that are required for a job in public relations. I'd say the best part of my job is the continuous learning experience that I receive every single day. Um, we, there's constant change in the public relations industry alone, as well as organizations deal with constant change. So dealing with those is how I learn and I evolve as a public relations practitioner. It helps me grow as an individual as well. Um, that being said, that could also be c considered one of the worst um, parts of the job. If, if I had to identify anything, it would be constantly the constant that constant change that you do have to evolve with um, and realizing that you may receive a call from the media and not have the answer right away due to that constant change. I often tell people that I'll walk in in the morning and have a set list of items I'd like to accomplish that day and by the end of the day that list has changed because something has happened to where I am responding to something that I may not have known. 
But the goal with that is to always be proactive and be prepared for any type of situation. It is our job as PR practitioners to know that this can happen at any point in time. So um, it's definitely a learning experience and a great way to kind of evolve as, as, a, as a PR practitioner. A lot of what I tell people when they ask me for advice and they're thinking about um, joining the PR field is get out there and get the experience. There are so many organizations that are interested in providing internship opportunities. When I was in my undergrad, I actually did two internships and worked for a PR for firm before I graduated. Um, it's really crucial to get the real world experience. You learn a lot from um, the faculty and through your coursework, but a lot of the things you need, really need to get out there and learn yourself in an organization um, and try out a couple different internships if you have the time to do so. Um, the other thing is once you're out in the field just realize that it is a job that requires a lot of passion. If you're not passionate about the public relations industry or the organization that you work for um, it can cause a little bit of burnout sometimes so just realize that you need to be passionate about what you're doing um, and I'm very lucky that I'm very passionate about what I do so that would be the best advice I could give is to know that it's going to take a, a lot of hard work um, and a lot of passion to be able to be successful but as long as you have that you should be good to go.